Folding Spoon is a folding spoon. It's um, every Breton peasant had their own wooden spoon for every day, and it wouldn't be folding. It would just be kept over the over the table in a pork cuillère for the meal, and it, wipe it on your elbow and put it back. For parties, for weddings, few and uh, pardons, you have a your posh spoon, your party spoon, your spoon for best, a spoon that you carry in your pocket or in your hat band even when you go to a wedding or a pardon. A pardon is a, a church festival, uh, and it shows that you're going to go and have a party. You're going to fair la fête, go and have a good time. So they're, 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 the translation is not marriage spoon or wedding spoon, it's actually party spoon. Cuillère d'apparat. And about half of the old party spoons are folding spoons. Who made these spoons? Oh, good question. <laughs> um, everybody tells me, it's, this, is, this is, everybody knows, that they were made by young men to give to their intended, but actually they weren't. It's, it's very, very obvious from the collections in the museums that, that most of them were made by professionals. And there are a series of spoons. You can see there's, there's one particular spoon, there's nine of them in various museums, and they're, they have to be made by the same person. And the really good ones that fold successfully are... Um, yeah, made by professionals. But then you also see ones that are copies of the ones made by professionals and um, they're much rougher. And they're done usually by people who've no idea about the geometry of the hinge. So there's some brilliant mistakes. <laughs> or, you know, somebody's just drilled the hinge pin without thinking about where it goes and then he tries to fold the hinge and it doesn't work. Uh, you know, it only goes that far or something like that. Oh yes, and you've shown me a lot, a lot of examples of, um, and in your book as well, examples yes. of spoons that uh, uh, don't fold properly. And um, I can't show any examples, unfortunately. It's the, I suppose the basic thing is to make this point here match that point there, so that when it's folded, oh nice, when it's folded, that one, when that touches there, ideally. Those two points should touch, should meet. And all this is explained in your book, How to Make a Folding yes. Spoon. Yes. Um, in, yes. in a very concise and easy to understand language as well, I must say. <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah, it's taken me a while to work out the geometry of the hinges. I started off by literally copying the old ones, and then I discovered that some of the ones I was copying actually had mistakes in them, so I... I learned by making the mistakes again, and uh, yeah. Well, that's what we all do, isn't yes, it? We learn from right. our mistakes. If we don't make it, mistakes, it feels like, we, yeah. we tend not to learn. Yes, yes. Yeah. But by copying the ones, I've sort of I copied the mistakes and discovered what the mistakes were. So it's quite it's quite interesting. But, yeah, that's that's quite a nice. That's that's the spoon for the book. <laughs> <laughs> that's beautiful. You've read the book and uh, you've got to be able to follow instructions perfectly, <laughs> haven't you? Or you will not end up yes, with a folding, a folding that's right, spoon. Yes, yes. It, some, some of the hinge geometry, geometry is quite, um, quite specific. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Dovers in non donanesia, Triel and Hamulanus. O long, 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 Zoa, who is 
Christoch verlädt. Wem de wem no se kreis ab hoon u, ave sin ergen so to downet. O long di long di lo, o long di long di lo, o long di long di lo. And o bagu a bread du sa min tin. Elak yo na ha regen was, Kate do da wan gan ha hil yo tin, Ha toren toren gan ha krafas. O lon di lon di lo, O lon di lon di lo, O lon di lon di lo. Thank you.